Hello and welcome back to Battle for Westnorth. And we are currently in the caverns. So, looking for the scepter of fire. Anyway. Across the chasm, the air almost crackled with magical energy. It also became steadily warmer. The floor was smooth and glassy in places, and a faint glow provided a small reprieve from the thick blackness. Volcanic fumes drifted up from the cracks in the floor. Distant rumbles and earthquakes made it difficult to keep steady footing. The very earth had come alive, heaving, struggling to be relieved of his centuries-old burden. <gasps> so, so, the Scepter of Fire, have we actually got it here? The Scepter must be getting close now. Where shall we go? We cannot explore the this much area by ourselves, especially if we are to beset the denizens of these caves. We must ask our dwarven allies to help us search the caves with us. Yes, I feel it is near here. We must search for it carefully. An earthquake! We'll be trapped! No, not an earthquake, princess. I feel that too, something is aware of us. Aware? Who, Defal... Defalda, what does he mean? The scepter, the earth, the molten lava, the fire, the air around us, everything. It calls out to the air. I can barely hold it back in my mind. It was forged here, not far north of where we now stand. The sheer power of it. Where? Where is it? North. More, more, more than that I cannot tell. Conrad, as promised, here is my purse full of gold. 300. Okay. That's useful. I think, I think if we were to concentrate a bit, I could tell you where it is. If the founder rests, he can concentrate on the location of the Scepter of Fire. Okay. And I have to get it with either Lisa or the founder. Uh, I'm going to move you to better territory first, though. So, let us start recruiting. Champion, Captain, Druids, Steel Clan. Okay. I have a feeling we have a foe to the north. What I want to do is recruit as much as possible, use them, And then shift Conrad up because I want Conrad to get the scepter. I believe it may affect the story. Um, and we don't want the loyalists getting hold of the scepter. Okay. We could do with Thief and Guardsman. Okay, why is everything so silent? It's quiet. Too quiet. Way too quiet. Well, you have good movement, Thieves. It's almost as good as the... Dwarves of Nalga themselves. Let's get a whole load of guardsmen, because I'm going to need you. Okay, I'm going to have Con 
Oh, okay. We have seen a goblin rouser. Useful to know that that is what we are to fight at first. I mean, you're gonna be good because you're a skirmisher, aren't you? No, but close to. Skirmishers are units that um, can ignore basically terrain cost and the such like. You, the only way to reduce their movement is to surround them on all sides and that's pretty hard to do. Let's recruit another round and then we'll head out. And yeah, that worked quite well. So we've got a platoon covering Conrad, which is good. Ooh, that's not good terrain. This isn't good terrain for you at all. Oh, and we can recruit along the way. Oh, I did not know this. This is extremely useful. So we can recruit up there, so we didn't need to do what I did, just did. It's not like we can recruit anyway unless we get a whole load of more of these villages. Villages provide gold and upkeep. Um, they will provide one upkeep, so you can have one unit supported by them. Uh, and you... and then they produce a further two gold. Um, which can also be used as a substitute for upkeep. You're concentrating. Okay. I sense the path to the scepter is northeast of me. Okay, up there. That's useful to know. Okay, both miss. Oh, that's really bad odds, but you shouldn't survive long. Anyway, uh, let's get up there. a lot of units. I don't know whether it's going to be enough though. Gotcha. Okay, we have an orc. Orcish warlord, that's going to take quite a bit. So let's move everything up. Because you're going to take quite a bit to do. Especially with the, especially with the bow, because it means that they can defend themselves against ranged attacks and quite well. Uh, so really, nineteen three. It's a lot. That's probably going to cause issues, um, which is why I have the thief, because they will they're hard to hit, and they will most likely be able to overpower the orc. Especially with the backstab. Backstab does double damage when there's another unit on the other side of that unit that you're attacking. Okay. Really, the foul does a really good thing for this. Just because of the amount of sheer damage he can do, he could. He's 14 4, so he could do 56 damage. That's enough to be taken out by a standard warrior when it reduces him down. It's gonna need a large effort in order to get rid of them. But anyway. Okay, there. 
Oh, and there's a goblin coming up the back. A few goblins. Um, actually, quite a few. Ah! Ah! Oh, so close to another Thunder Garden, then that. Please hit. Ah! Oh, that's annoying. And that's a lot of damage. And this, if we hit both times, which we didn't, we could actually kill. Uh, where are my druids? Because we're gonna need you. Um, can't get the captain up there, so I can't boost you. Uh, ogres. They're an issue. Ogres are powerful and have lots of health, despite how low their level is. They're like level 1 or something, but they're really powerful. Well, oh, this is a lot of factions. Yeah, it's doing 7 instead of 11. Damage that. Okay. Uh, You can kill them. But they can kill you in exactly one shot. Can we actually get rid of one of these, please? They're extremely hard to hit. When you can just do that. Come on. So. The guardsmen almost completely got them. Yep, yeah, one hit, they're gone. And they've missed them. Of course they have. Anyway, where's my droid there? Okay. They're not gonna survive long. Let's retreat up path a bit. And let's get up. Okay, they're starting to take our villages. So our debt will grow. And that's a better position for us to defend from. So, oh, and your health thing. It means they heal two healths without having to do anything, basically. There we go. And I'm gonna let the Falder rest for a turn so I can get a new position so I know where to go majority of this stuff can't move not moving you maybe the captain wasn't such a great idea for here Northman ain't gonna last long, but we can't do much about that. Okay, that's a few goblins. Nothing much to worry about. We need you to heal. You've almost healed. Um, I don't know how Conrad has better movement than the elves. Doesn't really make sense. Um, we got the heart. better terrain. Kind of to be expected. Being how mobile they are, goblins. Despite how little health they have. 
deal as much damage to you as possible with one guardsman. Uh, gonna have to get the Falder up here to check everything. And I can't actually get you up there properly. And completely missed everything. Uh, we're likely to lose the Gasman, yeah. We were close. We did a lot of damage. That's really what helps. Uh, gonna send you down to deal with them. Oh, we've got a Thunderell just lying there. Okay. Not gonna attack because I don't want to put myself at a disadvantage. You can stay there, the Falder. Well, this is a massive map. At least it's easy to traverse for the most part. Can't seen so many units anymore. Blue faction, I feel, is a bit powerful. It's okay to the north again. Not north enough. Just checking things, making sure they're good, and we are doing the right. Slow them in at least. With a few units. Let's see what we can do. And that was to be expected. We're likely to lose that Thunderer. Uh, actually, you can kill them in one shot at full health. Formation, that tri-formation looks a little suspicious. <laughs> and please hit. We don't have as many units as we had. And yeah, that's just gonna keep happening. Oh! Um, move! Uh, the lava's expanding. That's what's happening. That's what the rumble really is. Gonna send you up there. Just to check it out. Um,. So come through there, you can go there, though that's absolutely terrible defence, which probably wasn't a good idea in the first place, but anyway. Okay, there we go, best path. We are now unprotected, this isn't good. They're gonna come flooding up from behind. We gotta get to the scepter fast. <coughs> Knew it. <coughs> oh. <coughs> and I can't undo. Um, that's not good. I think we're about to lose a druid. Is it that one? Narrow channel up that way. Some alleviation from our constantly growing debt. Units will not desert you, which is something. Oh, they're getting really close. You're gonna have to run, fight, kind of thing. Yep, there goes the druid. Oh, you just hung on. That's 
not ideal at all. Ooh, I can see it. And it's gonna take five turns to get over there. We're losing our, one of our droids. That's all our units. Yep, there goes one of our droids. Another recruiting pool. Do we have to push our way out then? Get a little damage on them. So few units now. At least they're reasonably powerful units, but still, it's not great. And now we've got trolls to deal with. Where we can defend. And defend well. Gotcha. And they just completely missed everything. What are those odds? How did I survive that? Next turn, we get the Scepter of Fire. Don't think that's going to be the end of this scenario, but it's going to be pretty close, I know that. We may have to fight our way out. But with the amount of turns we have, I don't think that's actually going to be a possibility. Dwarves assume good positions. Because we are going to have to defend quite a bit well in order to survive. With how few units we have. There we go. This ancient scepter was forged by the great dwarves of the Heart Mountains, a symbol of the kingship of Wesnoth. The sept has the power to shoot fireballs at the enemies of the bearer. Here it is at last! I have the scepter! So it is in our hands. Now let us leave this stinking pit. I think that if we just travel a little now north, we might be able to get out. Okay. Ooh, that worked quite well. Hope you enjoyed, stay honourable, and I'll see you next time.